It's time to pull your unconscious competencies out of your head. It's time to really get on paper what you can sell as a consultant, what your expertise is, where you can take your 30 years of experience and drive it. And you're going to create your success story. So this is what I'm going to ask you to do. You can use your resume as an as a example maybe or, or as a guiding point, but we're really not looking to write a different resume. What I want you to do, I want you to sit quietly and I want you to list the top 10 things up to this point in your career that you accomplished. If you had to say, okay, this is my professional obituary. These are the 10 things that I've accomplished in my career. What are they? Write them down. Now, I know there's a sense of false humility. We don't really like to think that way, but I'm going to ask you to throw all humility to the wind. What have you accomplished to this point in your career? Write them down. Take some time and do that. For each of those, why did you start fixing it. So when you started this and you came up with this success, why did you start to do that? What precipitated that? What, what was the catalyst for you to take on that kind of a project? The next thing I want you to do is what were the problems? What did you see that led you to take on one of those 10 fixes? So what are your 10 success stories? Why did you start it? And what were the problems that led to you going about doing it? Now, here's the really hard part. You're unconsciously competent. You don't remember all of the steps that you took along the way to fix those problems. So what I'm going to ask you to do, you've listed your 10 success stories, why you tackled them, uh, what problems brought them to light. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is what are the steps you took along the way to fix that problem? Each and every step. The challenge is you forget. You forget all the steps that you did and everything that you had to do to accomplish that result. So take some time and think through the steps and the actions that were required to overcome that issue. This is going to be the foundation for your consulting practice, and this is what clients are going to be hiring you for, is your knowledge of those steps to help them address very similar issues.